Hello gaming modders and welcome to not a let's play. Yeah, this isn't a let's play. <laughs> I'm just letting you guys know. This is uh first off welcome to uh, Gary's mod and second uh the reason I'm making this video it's more to talk about a video I already made in this where I was fighting off Lucifer. Okay, so I may have made a, made a slight fuck up. Alright, a massive fuck up. I called Lucifer a puff, and he got pissed and now he wants to murder me. Any ideas? Take it like a man. Well, you all suck. You know, when I had to deal, you know, uh... <laughs> Don't remember any of that. So the reason I'm making this video is... I felt like it was a good thing to do. To, uh, talk about it. I mean, there's no real problems with it, but... This is something that I thought... Something I could possibly do. So I thought I'd just talk about the video, and... explain what mods I used in it when I was just screwing about with it. I didn't know Gary's mod had a giant massive supermarket. Ah, the vegetation station that ended it all. My nuke wouldn't work how I wanted it to. So, First of all, I'm going to talk about why I wanted to, why I made the video. Uh, in all honesty, it was just me screwing about. There was no real purpose, no real reason. I just got a bunch of mods. I got the specific one, which as Lucifer and a bunch of these guys. I want something I can... Uh... Yeah, I don't know why... This has happened... I'll just take this. But yeah, so... That's one of the mods. This is also the map that was used. This is the... If I just... Actually, real quick, this is Rockford. There's quite a fair few Rockford uh, maps. They more or less look the same. Like, I mean, you start in the same spot. And it seems the same, but there are clearly differences. Like, the maps do look a bit different. But this is the one I used for the video because it was the only one I had at the time. Uh, yeah, and 
this this is a mod as well which that's all of these are actually creatures from a computer game called Painkiller. Um, that's gonna have its own separate video. And Painkiller has a a lot of games. I really dig. I really, really loved uh, the first game. It was amazing. And just to point something out, these two are bosses. No, what I thought it was. You're not either, and I don't even think that was English. So I'm trying to find all. The... Okay, that's no music. Preacher. I'm not doing you, I've had problems with you. Every time I spawn you and try and get rid of you, you're still there. Dick. I don't think he, he was really an enemy. Yeah. Thor. For some reason. He's actually called the Guardian, but because of that he was He's also been nicknamed Thor. But if you heard the music, that's pre-built into the character, into the boss. So, uh. whoa. Yeah, like, the bosses, the main bosses, they, shut up, they have their own Yeah, they each have their own theme. <laughs> Dick move. Dick. There we go. So each of the bosses have their own uh, music built in. I think it's the music I have from the actual boss fights in Painkiller, which is pretty cool. But that's what I used. Now, hang on, let me just... While I'm loading this up, this is something I want to show you. Yeah, people, shit. So, if I just show you these guys quick. gain health. So that's something that was in it. Each in Painkiller, each of these guys, except the bosses, they each have <laughs> <laughs> the 
they each have these souls. And what's cool about the mod, this mod is when you kill these guys and you pick up the you pick up the soul, you get health. That's it. Ah! <laughs> Oh, I know what I gotta do right now. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, that had to be done. <laughs> I very much enjoyed that. But... That was a mod I used so when I was kept mowing down all of those evil monks with the car and then I got out and then I just started shoot, shooting them with that big cannon and I was running into all of those green orbs which are souls and I was getting health that's why it's because that's how the mod works and that's because that's technically how it was in Painkiller, you kill the bad guy, you kill the monster, you take its soul. There is actually a cheat code you can use for that not to happen. The enemies don't disappear, they just stay. Which I dig. I'm changing this. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> this was another mod, as you noticed. Um, here were my lightning, me electrocuting Lucifer while getting thrashed mercilessly. I am a Jedi! Am I also being sliced up here a bit? That is just horribly placed. I don't e I'll try and find that. What the hell was that? So yeah, those are two of the mods that were used. Um, another one that was used was a continuation of the painkiller mod, but as NPCs. So you got the VJ base painkiller guys with them as they are. Dealing with these characters, it's not difficult. I mean, some are a little bit harder than others. Especially this prat. <laughs> and that's why. Where's my health gone? So this is boy, and that's. <laughs> I think I'll just. I'll deal with that later. But yeah, so. Uh. Oh, hang on. SV. Cheats. One. God. One. 
So this bricks gonna kill me. <laughs> so while I've got them for VJ base, so I can fight them as is, I also have them here. In <laughs> That's what it was. Jesus Christ, it's still going. Hello! <laughs> Just for the gun, mate. But yeah, so this is the one I was talking about. Wow, that mod's actually pretty cool, the blood spatter mod. I dig it. So, again, that was another mod, so that had the evil monks that had uh, had these guys ah! <laughs> Ooh, mine um bad leopards sorry there were the leopards this guy, the left ah! who's ruptured everything he does. Oh, oh, the amputees and Alistair. Yeah, here he is. There was the necro giant. Hey. Who else was that? Oh, yeah. There's someone else as well. Where are you? you dick. Is he in here? Or what if. No! The fuck? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm legit looking for this guy. Cause I do not know where he is. Even though I should, because he should be in the same bloody place. Okay, I don't know where he is. Uh, this guy who was surviving all the bloody nukes. Something the well, not that. Yeah, something won't die from that. Um... There we go. There he is. That, um, that was Swamp Thing. I'm literally not kidding about the name. That, he is actually the second boss you fight in Painkiller. And taking him down is a nightmare, I'm gonna tell you. But yes, that is Swamp Thing. He is the second boss you fight. And he's actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, I do... I really do dig Swamp Thing. He is such a cool looking creature. He is such a cool boss, as is Thor. And there's also Cerberus. With... Yeah, him. I forgot about that. Shit, shit. Thank you. Yeah. 
So yeah, I've actually spawned Cerberus then a few times. And by doing so, he creates those beasts. Shit. <laughs> I've just remembered. Where I spawned Cerberus earlier, they're gonna be some of them. They're gonna be this way, aren't they? Nope, I'm going this way. It's hard you. So yeah, that's, uh... That was another mod. There was also the vehicle. Which... Which is that the Pegasi Tesseract? Which for some bloody reason comes out white. All every time I bring out a vehicle, it's always white. <coughs> no vehicle damage, so that's something. But Bloody mess. <laughs> that was a shit one. <laughs> but this is actually where the majority of this place, the fight took place. So Lucifer was here. And I was down here. And time to see if we can wash this off. Yes, we can. See, I don't know why that happens. It just does. I still don't know what that is. I can't get rid of the sound. It's stuck here. So, if you remember this section, where you saw all those that like, clone troopers, the the whatchamacallit, <laughs> that, uh, the lat, and that Gungan Jedi, they were, they were actually all separate mods, that is annoying me, so I'm going to, I think the game's having issues, <laughs> kind of a while it's went through its thing, I guess I can just continue, continue talking. So, that was a complete, complete mismatch, mismatch of different mods, a um, bunch of ragdolls, and props that I downloaded. Mainly because I wanted it to look like shit was going on. That's what I wanted it to look like. Like, there was actual crap going on. Uh, like the Daedragama, which I actually did specify in the mod, in the description of that video. Um, there was also the FBI mod. It was a I had a bunch of, like, random NPCs, other characters. Including a Mafia 2 mod that came with the two police officers, Vito Scaletta and Joe Barbaro. Which was cool because I actually really, really love Mafia. Even though it's not as long as Mafia 1, Mafia 2 is still an amazing game and I love it. I love Mafia 2 to bits, more so than Mafia 3, which I'll complain about later on. But, they were the mods I used. Um, I didn't really link any of them, I just said what they were. Uh, I won't be doing that this time, I'll actually go back to what the mods were, and I will link them for you guys in the description. I really like the mods, they're really cool, especially the Painkiller SNPC. For the 
VJ Base, which is another mod of itself, you can, which you can download. I'll leave a link that in the description. I will also link the mod, the the map in the description, which requires certain updates, I mean, not updates, up uh, content that you need to download with it, which will ask you. Um, you can. Even, I'll even link the car. I'll try and link the lightsaber mod. But that's kind of what started why I wanted to make that video because it looked cool and it kind of gave me an, an opportunity to create my own little scenario type thing like my own little mini story I guess you could call it I don't really know but I didn't enjoy making that it was so much fun Oh, now he decided to work after like five fucking millennia. Yeah, so. Please. Something I should point out actually about this video the map that I used, I, the whole thing, the video that I uploaded wasn't gonna be the original. The original I had was didn't even take place in Rockford, took place in a completely different map entirely, it took place in a city. And actually had Lucifer walking about and actually coming after me. Which is kind of scary, if you think about it, it's kind of terrifying having Lucifer chasing you with his giant fuck off sword and just slicing you in half. That's that's kind of disturbing and unsettling and not something you really, really expect. But, yeah, it's a thing. Um, but yeah, so the original was going to take place in a city, with Lucifer chasing me. I think my game is broken. I'll just let it load. It's gonna take place in a, it was, but yeah, it was gonna take place in a city with Lucifer chasing me, and I was gonna keep the. Um, I wasn't gonna use the VJ base characters. I was gonna only Lucifer, but the others, like the monsters, I was gonna have them as regular NPCs and as rebels. So they would work with me fighting Lucifer. That's what was originally going to happen. I actually recorded it all. But I then just straight up deleted it. I didn't even bother trying to... Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> uh. Uh. Let's just go here and let that load. Well, I continue. See, the original, that was what the original was going to be. I recorded it all, and then I kind of just went, you know what, no, this is kind of, nah, just no. So, I redid everything, and I did it there. I did it in Rockford, with all those characters, the entire setup. That I was proud of. I was really proud of it. Um, yeah.
then what happened was after I had the talk talk with Lucifer I mentioned everything's been sorted out and I said the reason I thought it was a puff because he doesn't do anything and that he said that he actually does do something which is solving crime in LA and there may be people who don't understand what the hell I'm talking about there what that even means basically it's talking it's a TV series called Luce the TV series called Lucifer and there's been three seasons the fourth one's been made and I believe is out now but Lucifer it's a show I extremely dig I really do like it especially with Lucifer being as interesting as Ness I don't know how to describe him <laughs> but it stars Lucifer played by British actor Tom Ellis and well, the show revolves around him being walking around the mortals and just having a vacation from hell because he's had enough. He also bumps into a police detective called Chloe Decker, played by Lauren German, and he helps her deal with crime. And he kind of works with the LAPD, in a way. But Lucifer also has all these problems, like that, that god. And so he goes to a therapist, who, he's fucked <laughs> on several occasions as payment for some bloody reason. <clears throat> he said in his mind at the time. And none of that, but all of this other stuff keeps going on, and he actually starts, well, he develops feelings for Chloe, and I think it's also vice versa. And he comes really protective of her as well. If I'm honest, I haven't seen the series in yonks. But I really love Lucifer. It is such a cool show. And that's why I put that in it. Along with... The extra bit in the description. Talking about the TV series Lucifer. To me, it was a, basically a way of saying... By the way, check out this awesome show called Lucifer. It's a show I seriously dig. Even my sister loves it. And it's really cool, especially since there are people who, in the series, there are people who just don't want to share anything. And then Lucifer comes in and just goes, Tell me, what is it you deep, deeply desire? And does this weird stare thing that you do to any other person, you just look at him like, God, you're a creepy weirdo. There's only one person that doesn't work on, and that's Chloe Decker. I'm not saying why. Watch the series. But, he does that, and he, make, he makes them reveal their deepest, darkest desire, which, I guess in a way, is kind of Lucifer blackmailing them. So it kind of makes them go, I wish I hadn't said that. Okay, I'll tell you. Please don't make that public. <laughs> which is basically what... Which is actually kind of cool. That's why I did that. It was my way of showing my love for the TV series.
And uh, yeah, that was basically it. Now, that was pretty much the reason why I wanted to make this video. I, I know I'm not exactly the biggest YouTuber. Like, by a fucking long shot. But... Yeah. That was something I wanted to do. Um... Yeah, that's all I've got for this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know I've not exactly put out a lot of content recently. I, I'm uploading every couple months, which is probably what I'm going to start doing anyway with my Robotic Warriors, uh, depending on how long the video is. Like, depending on how long the Robotic Warriors video is, determines how long it will roughly be before I send out the next one. Because some, like an hour? I mean, something like a couple good... like... under 50 minutes? Ish? But there are some that are like, like an hour long, others two, some are even three. Three hours long. So, that's what I'm going to base it on for Robotic Warriors. That and the fact that uh, I am still editing. Uh, yeah. I. That's about it. Um, I'm still working on uh, Skyrim, although the lot I actually tried making vid I made videos, a couple of videos uh, a few weeks ago, and while I was doing it, the game just crashed on me. Uh, what? <laughs> So yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for this so much for watching this video. Keep up with me at Taylor Gang and keep up with my friends Manny in the House, Conspiracy Theory, aka Night with Anime Roar, Sun Gazer, aka Naruto Uzumaki, Ashura Kamiya, and Undercover Nerd. And as always, I'm Taylor Gang, and I will see you next time.